All right, finished all the body work on this uh, gas tank and everything, and, and I'm happy with it. So, uh, I'm going to get it ready. Yeah, got it all taped up. I'm going to take it out and paint it. I already uh, degreased it with lacquer thinner. And I uh, picked up a gas cap for it here. It's actually a new old stock. This is the original box. Isn't that pretty cool? This must have, must have been on a shelf inside an office or something because there wasn't any dirt or dust on it, but uh, that's pretty cool. I actually taped it up. I was going to paint it the same color as the tank, you know, silver. But I think I might leave it the way it is and see how it looks. You know, just a natural, uh, sort of like a chrome finish. I don't know, zinc finish, I don't know. But anyway, we'll see how it looks. And if we don't like it, we can always paint it later on. So, it's a little windy out. It's warm, but it's a little windy, so... Uh, I'll see what we can do. I'm sure we can do something. No, it's not too bad out here. It's windy, but the wind is coming in gusts. So right now is a nice calm. But in any second now, uh, we'll get a big gust. So uh, I'll have to spray in between wind gusts. All right, we got the prime coat on, and uh, I'm liking it. So uh, we'll let it sit out here in the sun a little bit, and then we'll come back and uh, put a top coat on. All right. Here's our first coat of silver. Looks pretty good. Covered pretty good. Uh, we'll let that sit maybe about 10 minutes and then uh, we'll give it a, a good double top coat. Uh, gave it about uh, three good top coats there and uh, looks good. I'm happy with it, you know. It's only a gas tank, right? All right, let's sit out here and uh, cure. All right, let's go on to something else. All right. We're done with the gas tank and uh, we got something else to work on here. Matter of fact, we got the gas tank right over here. And uh, I'm happy the way it came out. I put the, the fuel uh, pickup in there and the, the lid on there. Got to sit in front of the big uh, four there. The old four banger. That was a good, that was a fun job. But anyway, let's get back here. All right, so now what we're going to do, it's only going to be a small little job. So just a little bit on the lathe. What I do is I have this uh, oiler I'm going to use as a breather. You know, everybody's worried about how it's going to breathe, but uh, there's actually a hole right here. You know, there's no glass or anything there, and it'll just uh, come out through the bottom. But anyway, that's a, a 3 16th 40 hole, and I have to make it into an eighth inch pipe fitting. You know, when I bought this, there, there were two different sizes, but this is the only one I had in stock at the time. And it's a 31640, and I said, all right, all right, no big deal. I'll just, uh, we'll pick up a, a tap, you know, and uh, make a, you know, a plug for that and everything. But uh, not so easy. I looked all over the place. I couldn't find a, a 31640 uh, tap. I had to, I had to go all the way uh, over, over the pond to get it. But it wasn't that expensive. It was, it was, I think it was $10, but with the exchange rate and everything, <clears throat> it was, uh, came to less than $7 to have it shipped here and everything. So, uh, there we go. I know, somebody's going to send a bunch of links saying, oh, you could have got here, you could have got there, but I looked and I couldn't find it, and you guys weren't around when I needed it, so. This was the only one I had on eBay. I look at this, I think this, this might be the, the queen when she was a hottie. Look, it don't want to, it don't want to focus in now. There you go. Looks like it comes from uh, West uh, Kirk something. I don't know. Somebody will tell me. It says April 18th, but uh, right now it's May 5th. So that's where we're at. So let's get back to this. Let me get a let me get a seat. Pull the chair. <clears throat> All right. Here's our dilemma. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you guys on a tripod, make it a little easier for you. Be able to see a little better. All right. So here's what I plan on doing. I've got a couple of uh, fittings here, and this here is just a regular uh, pipe fitting, uh, eighth-inch pipe fitting. And this would have fit in there, you know. And I could have, I could have cut this in half and just epoxied that in there, you know, and I would have been fine. But I didn't want to do that. I got another fitting here, and this. Just barely fits in there, so I could probably I probably could have cut that off and tapped it back, because there's enough there that would have grabbed some threads. But what I decided to do was uh, I got myself an eighth-inch pipe plug here, 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the square part off of there and then tap the inside of it and then put it on there and hopefully what, what's going to happen is when I put it in here I'll, I'll screw it in as tight as it can go and that'll stay in there so if I ever want to take this out then uh, these threads will be there that's why I didn't want to epoxy or glue anything together but even with this you know these, these plugs here when you buy these plugs are actually hollow on the inside I know somebody's going to tell me, uh, you can get them with, uh, you know, solid ones and stuff, but uh, I go with what is at the Lowe's and the Home Depot. So what I did is I, uh, I filled this one here with solder, and uh, that should be plenty. That should be plenty strong to hold a thread, especially for this. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go over there to the little baby mill, or the baby uh, lathe, and uh, I'm going to cut this off and drill a... That's what I said it was a six a, a three sixteen forty. I think that I don't know. I'll have to go check see what that uh, what size drill we need. Hold Here's on. Here's one. I'm looking for a drill to, for a tap. It tells you right on the back of this set here, but this let me put it over there. This this doesn't even have three sixteenths. So I had to hit the internet and. Uh, let me see what they said. They said uh, between a 21 and a 26. You know, so I'm going to go with a 21 because this hole here, that seems like it would have it would have grabbed the threads. And here's a here's a 21, and that's plenty of slop. So, all right, I'm going to go. I'm going to try that. All right, let's head over to the lathe. All right. I got you guys over there. It's not the best position, but it's the only one I can put you in right now. Because I got the head turned around for another job, and I don't feel like uh, turning it around. So, so uh, we're gonna, I'm going to take some of that knob off, and then when I drill a hole, maybe I'll put you in a better position. All right. Hang on. Watch your sleeves. Too much for that little guy. See, keep taking a little bit at a time, and then because uh, I don't want I don't want that to jump out of there because it's, it's being held on by the tape and it's uh, it's not in there very well. All right, I'll get back to you once I knock that whole thing off. All right, it's actually working better if I'm, I'm cutting it in this way. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just cut this whole knob off, and then I'll I'll surface cut it. Sure, if that moved in a chuck or not, but like I say, it's barely being held on there. So let me play with that. All right, I moved you guys over here. I got. I'm gonna make a little pile hole here now. 
I thought this had moved in a chuck, but it didn't. What happened was I hit the lead and and the little nub on there loosened up, you know? That's what made it look cattywampus and stuff. But uh, it's actually pretty good. So let's let's put a little uh, pilot hole in there and continue on. Should be good enough for us. It's funny how that lead's uh, reacting. All right, I'm not using any lubricant or anything. It's uh, we're only dealing with lead here, or, uh, solder and, and brass, so no worries. It's coming around, it's wrapping around that drill like a snake. Pretty interesting. Probably should have went with, with uh, I should have brazed it. Oh well, we'll see how it works. Alright. All the way through. Sleeves. All right. I am going to lubricate this tap here. A little tap magic. We got a lot of tap magic. I didn't mean to put that much on, but uh, all right. Let's uh, see what we got here. I don't mean to keep my hands in the way there, but. Uh, Actually cutting pretty good. I think I probably should have went. Yeah, I should lock this in. I still. I think I probably should have raised that. We'll see how this works out. All right, actually, we don't even need this right now. Get this out of the way. That's what happens when you make this kind of stuff. You know, everything's all. Uh, Trial and error. I'm going to turn you guys off here. And then we're going to have to put it back. Alright. I thought the, the threads were getting gummy and everything. And they were, and they were ripping out. But they, they weren't. Actually. They actually look pretty good. You know, I think if I did this again, or if I have to do it again, I would uh, I would braze that, put brass in the inside instead of solder. But uh, let's see how it works. There we go. Okay, see that? Tighten right up. Actually, I think. I might have to cut some more threads. Go a little deeper. This is a tapered thread. Okay, let me go a little deeper with that. All right, yeah, that worked. And if I did this again, I would definitely go with brass, or I mean, uh, braise it. There you go. I don't want to go too tight. Now we'll go try and put it in the machine over there and uh, see. We might have to retap out a little deeper too. All right. It worked out well. It's in there pretty tight and everything, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to get this base down a little further into the block, but what happened is it tightened up and it's doing what I wanted it to do, you know? If I if I take this off, then the plug is staying in there, so now I'm going to try and get that plug out somehow and recess it a little further down. Alright, bear with me. Alright. Yeah, what I did is uh, I cut the pipe threads down a little uh, 
a little deeper and sent that that adapter, whatever you want to call it, down in almost flush with the block. You know, the block the block isn't level. You know, it rounds off in the front, but it's almost level in the back. If this wasn't painted, you know, I could uh, I could have hit it with a grinder and, and made it flush and everything, and you never see it. But I'm happy with that. Sometimes you mess with something too much and uh, you, you know you ruin it. So uh, you know, and and most of the craftsmen out there, I'll tell you, you know, when when you see something like this and and you don't like it, it's it's because you're the only one that sees it. Most people that look at this are either going to see that and they're going to say, oh, look at the cute little wheeler. But they're not. They're going to be up here on the top anyway. They're going to be looking at the, you know, the, the push rods and the rock arms going and everything. So nobody's even going to pay attention to it. So uh, I could probably still get down there with a grinder and, and make it flush. But uh, like I say, I'm happy with it. So that's the way it's going to stay. All right. I think, uh, I think that'll be enough for this video. So we say enough of this. All right, later guys.